Alright, welcome to the part 2 of this training. Alright, so in the part 1, I taught us how to use shapes, how to use text, how to bring out the margin. Alright, basically in the part 1, I we looked at the whole of Canva and the interface. We understood the design template, how to use templates, how to use styles. We understood elements. Alright. We understand what the function of element does and how to bring them into our canvas then we looked at test we looked at images how to upload it okay no i've not looked at how to upload images which we'll be doing into this video and uh, we stopped at text in our last video all right so this part two is going to be all about uploading images and using them in our design i'll be teaching you how to bring images into canvas into Canva, alright, and I'll also be showing you how to use them in your design for your book, okay, so, I don't know if you are excited to get started, so if you are, let's dive into the video right away, alright, so, what we're going to be looking at in today's video is how to upload images into Canva websites and then how to bring them into our application. So one of the places where I get my images from is on Pixels. So we'll go to pixels.com or we go to pixabay.com or we go to onsplash.com. So these are the three websites where you can get free stock images. So usually these images don't have issues on Amazon. All right. They are not copyrighted. You can use them in your cookbook or self-help book design. Okay, so that's just what you need to know about this. I don't think there's anything special again. So, we're going to download some, just like two, because I have some images, alright? I have some images on my system. So, they are saying we, they can't load it, so we have to reload. We have to reload the page and try again. So, I'm going to reload this page, so that the images I have here are going to show. Alright, so... You can even upload videos, you can upload audios. All right, but our training is focused on books for Amazon KDP. So I'm going to reload this page and then we'll come back when it's showing. All right, so I have reloaded the page. So the images I have on my on my Canva are showing here right now. All right, you can see the images here. So these are some images I downloaded from Pixels, some from Pixabay, some from Unsplash. So as you can see, they are all food images. All right. So we're going to look at how to download them, how to bring them into the Canva website, and then how to use them in our design. Okay. Let's download that image and bring it into the application. So I'll search for. Let's say you have a recipe in your book. Okay. You have a recipe. You can search for the name of that recipe. All right. Um. You can say Jig. You you got. You got all right. So depend on the depends on the recipe you have in your book. Usually, when you search out the recipe, you will see exactly what you need here. All right. So we can just download this. Okay, we can download this. Let's say is it is it is it um what did I call it now? Desert recipe. So you have worked on your lunch, your breakfast. So this is now like desserts. All right. So it's downloading right now. You can also download more images from this place to Pixar B. It's a great, great website to download free images from. All right, I prefer these two to Unsplash. These two are preferable, more preferable to Unsplash. Unsplash is just scattered and not organized. I don't understand the application. So it's currently downloading. When it's done downloading, I'll download two. So just typing something off my head. Not like I know what I'm typing. So, they are going to show you sponsored images first. Don't download any of these. These are sponsored images, like, as you can see. So, make sure you don't download sponsored images. Okay, make sure you don't download sponsored images. What you want to download is images from Pixabay. Alright, then you can see royalty free images. So, they'll show you sponsored images. Don't download any of these, alright? What you want to download is royalty free images. So what we're going to do, 
is look for the rice bowl that we want to use and then download it into our system all right so let me download this one and then let's move ahead so you click on it and then you choose this download button here so you download you select dimension you want to download all right so always download the one with the highest um, resolution all right so they're going to ask you to sign up so when you sign up you'll be able to download it so let's go back i don't have time to start doing that now all right so let's see if our image has downloaded it has downloaded so we'll come back here and then we'll go to upload and then we'll click on upload files all right so let's upload the image we just downloaded so i'll select it and then choose open so the image is going to show up here and then it's going to load up that it has uploaded okay so to bring it into our canvas i'm going to click on it and then just choose the image all right i just choose the image and then it's going to appear on the canvas all right so i believe that's that about that so now we want to the question now is how do we fit in this image into the ship all right how do we fit in the image into the ship so we'll drag the image up there's no way to just see image enter the ship so what i do all right i position the image that needs to show because as you can see this image now it's not it's not occupying everywhere in the ship all right so i position the image in such a way that it is centered on the ship as you can see right here all right it is centered on the shape so that some parts are showing the part that needs to be visible is showing okay the next thing i do is i read i crop it out into the shape itself so after positioning it to make sure that the image is centered on the shape what i now do next is i come up here and i drag down i come down here and i drag up with this now the image has entered into the shape what I will do next to this side is to come this place and drag to this side. So as you can see now, the image has automatically entered inside the ship. So it's not like there's a special way of putting images into the ship. No, there's not. All you just have to do is to center your image on the ship. Then you drag the sides that needs to be dragged to fill up the ship. So I'm going to repeat this example. All right, I'll repeat the example and then we'll move on to the next training for today so what i'm going to do now is to duplicate this image all right even though i'm not done with my design i'm not done with my design because i'll have to change the color of this so that it does not it's looking off for me personally all right i have to change the color of this so it suits the image that we have inside here so i'm going to duplicate this all right so you duplicate by clicking on this duplicate page so I'm going to click on the image here and delete. Okay. So we have our empty shape. So let's bring in another image and then let's fit it into the shape there. So I'll come down and look for another image that I can use. Okay. Let me bring in this one. I'll click on it. It comes into the application. Right. Okay. So I'm going to close this up. Then I'm going to move the shape. I'm going to move it. On top of this so like I said before I have to make sure that the parts that I want to be visible is centered on the shape first of all okay so it's your job to make sure that the part you want to be visible is centered on the shape as you can see centered so this is centered enough next thing I'm going to do is to crop out the top and the bottom the place are overlapping so if I crop that you see a pink line showing me that it has entered into the shape I'll do the same thing for the bottom one. I'll click and drag up till I see that line that is showing me that this image has entered into the shape. Next thing I'm going to do is to drag out the sides to cover up these parts. To cover up these parts. So I'll drag and cover it up. I'll drag and cover it up. So that way I can be sure that my image is centered on the shape. So I hope with this now you have learned how to upload an image and bring it into the shape in canva okay now 
we are going to look at how to add page numbers all right how to add page numbers to our work okay you come to text all right you want to add page numbers to this design meanwhile i've also taught you how to duplicate automatically you can choose to delete this you can duplicate you can lock the page so when you lock the page you can't edit anything nothing can be edited nothing can be moved so this can serve when you want to bring in something into the design all right so you want to bring in something into the design or you want to you want to make sure the design you don't interrupt the design you don't mistakenly delete something you can just lock it okay so page numbers page numbers page numbers you click on text all right now you cannot add external fonts into ama into canva except you have the pro version I taught us how to bring in how to use text in the previous video. If you have not seen the video, you have to go and watch it. You just have to click on add a text box. Okay? Click on add a text box and then you'll be able to do so. The next thing we can do on Canva is adding page numbers. So Canva has made it easy for us to be able to add page numbers automatically. So as you can see, this is a new feature on Canva. As you can see, it's a new feature on Canva, all right, enabling us to add page numbers. Normally before, what I do is there's another website I go to that helps me add page numbers to my design on Canva, all right. But now they have that feature inside of Canva, which is amazing, very, 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 very amazing. So we are going to look at how to do that, all right. So I will click on page numbers. That's what you just do. Just come to text, click on page numbers. All right, so what it is going to do is going to add the page number at the top here. It's going to add it at the top. All right, it's saying this design already has page numbers. So this is the page number. This was, I mistakenly moved this one up here. All right, so I'm going to remove the page number all right let me click on edit and then remove all page numbers so the next thing i'm going to do is to add page numbers afresh all right page numbers added to all pages so this is where the page number is located on this design top here top here which is a bad positioning okay is it bad position so i'll click on it choose edit page numbers so we are going to see the formatting for the page numbers is showing up here. So they said format. We want to choose numbers only. We don't want page plus numbers. We don't want page S of Y, blah, blah, blah. Just make sure it's page numbers only. Show numbers on all pages should be selected. Show numbers on all pages should be selected. Okay. Then position, appearance and position. So what this means is you can choose to edit this positioning by yourself. It's not done automatically. Where Canva placed these page numbers for us is wrong. Okay, like I said, everything that has to do with text must be inside of this margin. It must be inside of the margin. Everything that has to do with text must be inside of this margin. It should not step outside of the margin. If not, it's going to be rejected. There should be space between the number or the text and this margin line. If not, your work is going to be rejected. So don't say because it's page number, you want to bring it outside here your work will be rejected by Amazon. So it has to be placed just inside of the margin. All right. And make sure there is space between it and the margin line. So now we can also edit it more. We can increase the size. Okay. We can increase the size. Just make sure it's not touching. Make sure it's not touching the Canva at all, the margin line at all. So the next thing we can do for this page number is to change the font. You can also bold it. You can make it italics. So let's change the font of the number to this. So it's going to change. So we have positioned it. We have changed it. We have changed the font. We have changed the size. We have adjusted the position. But if you start doing it one by one, it's going to be a problem. So I can't start doing the same thing for all the page numbers. So what I'm going to do is come back to this edit page numbers. Make sure this is selected. Then apply properties to all pages. So we are going to apply the appearance and the position to all pages. 
So once I click on apply now, this the effect on this will apply to all the page numbers. All right. So as you can see, we have page two, then we have our page one. So if I duplicate again, if I come down and duplicate this page now, you will see that the page three will have the same effect. So I'll come down page three. Are you seeing page three? So that's that about page numbers and adding of images into the design. Okay, so that's why I said I would love to have done all my design on one of the canvas. All right, I would have loved to do all my design, make sure that I'm done both with the page number I'll add, both with the setting, the color, everything will be set before I start duplicating. So when I'm done duplicating, the only thing I will just be changing is my image and my text. My image and the text, my image and the text, every other thing remains constant. Every other thing remains constant. Alright, so in our next video, I'll be showing you how to do table of content inside of Canva and how to link it together. That is what we're going to look at. Alright, we are going to create table of content and then link it so that in your table of content on Canva, you can click on the in a particular chapter and it will automatically take you to where that chapter is on Canva, inside of Canva. We are going to look at how to do that in our next video. So, see you in that video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.